right, so what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel, man. It's your boy, and we back up in this thing. For this video, I wanted to give you guys a first look and a little bit of gameplay using the boy Ben Riley, aka the Scarlet Spider. And shout out to the notification gang and those of you guys who take an extra second of your time to hit the like button, man. I appreciate each and every single one of y'all helping out the channel. You feel me? So we're going to be taking a look at the boy Ben Riley, and I got some good news and I got some bad news. So let's start with the good news first, okay? For one, he's free to play. So if you're a fan, you're going to be able to get him. Number two, he's really, 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 really strong. Emphasis on really strong. I mean, the boy hits like a truck on the sauce, if you understand what I'm saying. Keeping it YouTube friendly. You're going to see what I'm talking about in a second. However, there's a big caveat to this guy. He feels like the free-to-play speed version of Gambit. Real talk. If you guys know anything about Gambit, if you're new to Marvel Future Fight, you may not have Gambit. You may not know about Gambit. So let me just say this, okay? Gambit is an absolute monster in terms of being able to do insane amount of burst damage in crazy speeds, All right? Ben Rally is just like that. Because of the fact that he has defense down, he has a support passive, and you can stack him with White Fox because he has leadership, and he can use White Fox's leadership as well, just to debuff <laughs> increase in leadership. Plus, you can use him with somebody like Nick Fury or Coulson, right? He does so much damage. It's absolutely mental. The big caveat that may piss off a lot of you guys is I feel like they forgot to code in a part of this guy's defense. Like, he dies so fast, right? He literally gets one-shotted by anything. I mean, the wind could blow in this guy's direction and he'll fall over dead. Like, you'll just be walking in War Boss Ultimate and then before you know it, disappears. Not even like a slow, like, turn to dust, like a Thanos kind of disappear. I mean, he's instantly gone without a trace. And then you're like, wait, where is he? Oh, he's dead. <laughs> like, seriously, he dies that easily. But when you're able to make him work, he does so much damage. He realistically is, in my opinion, right now, in need of a defense buff or like more dodge, base dodge or something, man. Because he dies so fast that, yeah, you can have fun with him if you get him to stay alive. But sometimes it's just really, really frustrating when you're doing so well, you see the bars melting because he has damage um, or coming out the wazoo. He has accumulation, defense down and all that stuff, man. But his kit feels incomplete. And I don't want to say they're setting him up for a uniform, but it feels like they're setting him up for a uniform, right? Because he has all the offensive tools I think he'll ever need, but he's lacking defense which is unfortunate because as a spider, right, Peter Parker, like, that's the thing. Even our Spider-Man, he's not really that good defensively anymore, right, because there's gaps in his iframes. And it's the same thing with this guy. His skills, they leave him completely exposed because of a couple reasons. One, the animations put him in really awkward places when they end. For two, if the enemy jumps back away from you when you're using the Counter-Strike, um guess what happens? It gets completely canceled out. Yeah, but the good part about it is you can instantly cancel it yourself when you get all the buffs. However, in addition to that, right, the cooldown times on, and I think this is what's killing him, honestly, because if the cooldown times were shorter, you could chain the iframes a little bit better. But because he has three skills that have a cooldown time above 15 seconds, it's, it's mental. Even his two skill, look at this thing, 12 seconds on a two skill, bro. Now, the two skill is not good, right? It looks cool, but because it's not an iframe, it's not good, right? Because you don't want to be up in War Boss doing this, bro, dancing. Like, you're going to do a little dance with Proxima, and she's going to make a little love with your dead body because you're going, dead before, you're going to be dead before you get into that iframe at the end of the skill. So whoever designed this, I would say tune down the damage if that's what you guys are scared of and turn this into a full iframe 
because if I could dance around like this in between using my other skills while they come off cooldown, he would be so much better. Now, the one skill is an iframe, but trust me when I say, because it leaves you right in front of the boss, <laughs> it's not good, man. So you're going to play cat and mouse with Ben Rally. You're essentially going to do three cancel, four cancel, five, smash, and then you're going to run away and hope the boss don't pull up on you and stab you. Because uh, like I said, anything touches you, you're dead. Instant, right? The heal here, it, it kind of doesn't even matter because you get one shot it so often. <laughs> it's crazy, man. So we're going to take him into some content. You guys can see how he functions. We're going to try our best to keep him alive. It's a hit and run tactic. Some of you guys don't like this kind of gameplay, but it is what it is. I'm hoping that they just touch up his defense a little bit, like 8,000 defense. 8,000 bro like maybe when i get my build done for him on the live server maybe he'll be better like but man i'm scared his defense is too low let's jump into some content so you guys can see how he slaps i'm impressed with the damage if spider-man had this kind of damage at tier 3 bro everybody would love him like seriously that's how good his damage is let me just take you guys through a run here and you can see. So we're using some ignore dodge strikers here because you guys are going to see that. Show you guys the details, bitch. I, I did, but I don't think I made note. We have, we only have like 23%. So you know what? Let me, let me go ahead and take out one of those strikers because we don't need it, right? We have 23%. So we can just remove that one. Did I, did I, did I really have 23%? Where's that coming from? Yeah, we have 23%. Ah, it's from Doctor Strange because he's in the team with Doctor Strange. Get out of here, Steven. Goddamn demon. Okay, so we only have 3%. <laughs> okay, cool. I, I know I didn't have 23%. I'm like, that doesn't make no sense, right? Because why would I have why would I have chosen um anyways? Okay, now now it makes sense. Alright. So basically, three, cancel, four, cancel, five. And then run. Run like hell. And then repeat. Rinse and repeat. Alright? So we're gonna go like this. Boom boom and there we go three four as soon as the bombs drop <laughs> you see how fast the bars disappear his life disappears from his body just as quickly if you get hit so yeah just keep that in mind so we go three we go four as soon as you see those spider bombs come out you just you just hit the five and then you run away like, this is a state 60, right? So, it's not like no little... Ooh, oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. I was busy talking, and I almost got killed. Come on, please let me get those. Woo! I know he has a small heal on the four skill, but I ain't relying on that. Because I ain't let that skill play out, boy. <laughs> All right. So, I'm going to go three, four. Ah. Boom. Ooh. So close. Watch this. You hear the bombs? <laughs> Those bombs going off. It's, <laughs> it's somebody going to die. It's, it's either you or me. This life ain't, ain't for both of us. It's you or me. All right, so we go three, four, five. Let me just slide over here. I almost got him killed. If, if he had turned around and just stabbed, bro, instant demise so you want to get the heck out of dodge bro look at that we weren't even close to him bro there's so much damage on that tank there's so much damage on that tank it's nutty boys it's actually nutty right so some people are gonna play with him a couple times and they'll tell you yo he's trash he's so garbage no his defense is garbage but his offense is insane is this a way to balance the character? Would you rather him have less damage and more survivability and be a little bit easier to use? You let me know, right? Because I think I could sacrifice some of the damage if I was able to not play him so, I guess, scared-like? Because I feel like I'm just trying to get the skills off and run away, bro. <laughs> That's realistically how I feel. And Proxima is really dangerous for this guy because Proxima like hides a bunch of spears under the ground. So you might be making your way to like use like your third or your fourth skill. And then before you know it, you step on like one of those lightning mines or whatever. 
you gone, bro. <laughs> you gone. <laughs> You're never coming back. <laughs> oh, man. So let me see if I can bang out a 60 here before you make it pretty. Like, we got to watch out for the blade twister, though. I think that's the worst modifier for him because he's always in some really awkward places when his skills end. So we go like that. Go like that. And then we go three, pull up, four, five. And then run away, fam. That did not hit like I, I thought it would hit. All right, that's three, four, five. Whew. The thing about Proxima that makes her dangerous is there's always something. Ooh, there's always something coming for you. Like even when you're super far away, you can come from anywhere on the map, right? So it's really scary. Like my legs are shaking right now. Like M said, bro, the <laughs> knees weak. Bombs are sweaty. And why did I use the one skill? Oh my gosh. I think part of the reason why he he's, he seems really fragile is because his best team comp doesn't give him any um damage with woo, damage reduction. It's all offense, right? I'm not even gonna risk it. <laughs> right? His best team comps, like White Fox doesn't give you any damage reduction like he would get from like Shuri or um, Valkyrie or Coulson, right? And same for Nick Fury. They just go offense, offense, offense. So I feel like that's... Whew, oh gosh, I'm dead. Whew, that's so close. <sighs> Yo, knees weak. Palms are sweaty. There's vomit <laughs> said already. Mom's spaghetti. Hello? Mom? Is that you? <laughs> oh no, it's Nick Fury. <laughs> yeah. My legs, like, honestly, even when I, I'm sorry, like, my legs are actually, like, shaking, guys. Like, if I had a cam, I would show you guys my leg right now. They're actually, like, vibrating off the floor. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yo, can my legs stop shaking? <laughs> oh my gosh. Maybe I'll get better at using him. And then like my Sharingan or my uh, Byakugan or my Renegan or whatever will activate. And then I'll just GG, which is get good. And, and, and I'll stop shaking, bro. But like, whew, I'm nervous. Oh gosh, I'm dead. Whew. Oh yeah, he's, he's he doesn't get stunned. If only he didn't get sneered as well. Oh gosh, he's dead. Um, hello? <laughs> no, thank you. I'm sorry. We don't sell that here, Proxima. Um, whew. Oh, I'm, I'm scared. I'm scared, guys. I'm scared. Ah. Uh, I feel like if I wasn't spending so much time running away, this would be over already. So maybe don't blame this ooh, this run taking so long on him. It might just be me being so scared. But I think he's a ooh, pretty <laughs> good character leg. Can you stop shaking? <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna stop talking about my leg and, and pay attention. I think you guys might think I'm just joking about my leg, but it's actually vibrating off the floor. Oh my gosh. I hope it's not too loud in the video. Like I'm legitimately scared that I'm going to die before I beat this ugh, clown of a character. Proxima, please, please, baby doll. I just killed your husband in record time. I know, I know, I know you want vengeance, but vengeance will not be had on this day. My heart. Actually, it's more so my leg. <laughs> my right leg to be specific. <laughs> RIP my right leg, guys. <laughs> but yeah, if anyone tells you that he's a terrible character, just tell them, I said, he's definitely not a terrible character. He just has a really, really terrible defense. So that's the problem. The problem isn't that he's a terrible character, is that his defense is incredibly low. And I guess one way they could fix that is by giving him more HP. But since he's a speed type, speed types generally have lower HP. But they could give him higher native dodge. Because I think he starts off with just like 16%. So if they, I, But they do give him 35% guaranteed dodge here. But or 30 actually. But still, man, it feels like it's not enough. He definitely feels... Like to put things in perspective, right? If you look at like... Um, like look at Dormammu. 2020. Like, like double the defense, right? 
But and then Dormammu doesn't have any damage reduction, but Dormammu is constantly healing because he's constantly attacking from his like passive or whatever. But I guess we're comparing a tier two native to like not a non tier two native and a universal to a speed type. But anyways, the point is Scarlet Spider, very good, very very good damage dealer but his survivability will have you like stressing when you play him and i don't really like that like i don't feel like this is a good design for a character because essentially when you're designing a character as a game developer you want to build them in a way where like sure they can clear content but at the exact same time you want the player to be having fun right you don't want to put them in a well i guess war boss is supposed to be high stress but like i feel like playing him is just super high stress because of the defense problem, right? He feels like a less safe Spider-Man 2099, right? I feel like that's that's what I'm gonna say, like, because we have the Gambit comparison and I definitely see it, but like Spider-Man 2099 in this uniform, when you use him, if you've never used him, he melts bars with his fifth skill. Like you use his, yo, know, it's actually the same design. Oh shit. Because you use his um third skill, right? And then you use his fifth skill, and his fifth skill has the damage accumulation plus the defense down here. It's only 5% less, right? It's literally the same design. It's just one less skill. You do three, five, and with um, Ben Riley, you go three, four, five. It's literally the same design. Only this guy can turn invisible, so he's much safer, and the iframes are much better and easier to chain. Right, but that's because I guess he's premium. But this took a uniform, whereas Ben Riley is just base kid free to play. Worst case scenario, you never use this character in World Boss. You use him, well, I guess you never use him to do the damage in World Boss. You keep him on the team to buff 2099 or maybe buff tier 3 Spider Man when Spider Man gets the love that he deserves, like OG Spider Man. Right, and then. Maybe things get difficult, your Spider-Man dies, your 2099 dies, and then he comes in, and then he has he has damage, right? He has good damage, so he can wrap it up for you. So you can you can keep that in mind, okay? I think he has some use. So if anyone tells you he's not worth building, he's a waste of time, that's definitely not true. We've gotten worse characters, but I would definitely like please, 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 dev team. Please give him some more defense. <laughs> please, some more defense, some more dodge, just a little sprinkle on top. Anyways, um, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Let me know what you guys think of Ben Riley or my showcase of the character. You guys think I'm like overestimating or over like overvaluing the character? Or do you guys think what I did and what I said is an accurate representation of what he is? Like you didn't see me die in this video with him, but best believe when I started playing with him, it was just instant deaths, instant deaths, instant deaths for like a good 10, nah. Like, like five five or ten minutes and then i figured out the reason why i was dying was because i was trying to play him like a regular character chain skills together whereas i was supposed to be playing him like with a hit and run type of i guess speed character tactic i guess so it is what it is different style of character um let me know what you guys think though make sure you hit the like button on your way out because youtube not gonna send you the notifications lately that's just what it is i'm gone